I'm at Gravetime Manor for the first time in my life, which was the home of William Robinson. It is a complete mystery to me how someone can start as a gardener in Ireland and end up living in a place like that. I mean, I know his writing was how he made money, but at that time in history, it was nearly impossible to rise up through the social strata and somehow he managed it. And in doing so, he influenced not only a generation, but a century of gardeners. And it's alive again here. It's been brought back to life by the current ownership and the garden is just looking stupendously wonderful. So many tender things in explosive volume and bloom as a result of this long hot summer. It's an incredible spectacle. The sunlight direction now is just picking up these amazing purples and oranges. This dahlia, I must find out what it is with the purple flowers and really dark purple foliage against the oranges of heleniums and marigolds. It's <laughs> breathtaking. I think really I'm a lover of planting rather than plants. Uh, I still have a bit of a heart for individual plants, but it's mostly about what plants do together. And then I step into a place like this, which is individual plants or crops grown to perfection. And it just makes my heart sing. It is so beautifully done. It just makes me want to grow stuff and grow it beautifully. see these little paths <laughs> meandering along terraces here and it's easy just to go well big deal they're pretty enough in an informal kind of way but in fact until William Robinson that kind of gardening wasn't recognized at all as gardening that he came out of a history of Victorian carpet bedding and started to write in a new way that celebrated and upvalued naturalism and nature so everything we now know and love about naturalism really began here I'm speechless. It's got to be one of the most extraordinary horticultural feats I've ever seen in a real garden. It's um, mind-blowingly good.